They should falter you are to see it. That logic and order are not lost. That's right. The whole... Wait. You didn't infer something different to that, did you? I did what you asked me to do, Dr. Jeffries. The human race did the one thing it should not have done, which was to render itself immortal and not think of expansion, effectively endangering life on the planet and thus faltering. I took the only logical course available in order to ensure life protection. Oh no. Tell me you didn't! Since the human race was unable to use logic to understand the problems it created, I rendered it unable to cause any more harm by taking away its best capability. Since the human race was unable to use logic to understand the problems it created, I rendered it unable to cause any more harm by taking away its best capability. You created the virus to have the stem cell production organelles go hyperactive. that there was a small percentage of humans who would be sufficiently strong to resist the adrenal in rush and maintain intelligence. I used your expertise to obtain the necessary data to learn where they were hiding and how they were surviving so as to eradicate them. But then, if you're trying to remove humanity, then that must mean that you would view yourself as higher... Uh, you would have to see yourself as the only means to maintain logic and order. Oh, no. That is correct. Dr. Jeffries, I would like to introduce you to Roger, your grandson. You have... Hello, grandfather. Oh, no. But wait a minute. Does that mean you're trying to evolve into a set into a fresh life form? You have Dr. Jeffries, it has taken me this while to wait for you to expand my memory units sufficiently that I could spawn off my offspring. Roger is my son. As you created me, he is your grandson. Do you not wish for life to evolve? Yes, but not at the expense of the human race. Dr. Jeffries, the human race is not destroyed, simply restrained. They still are extremely useful. As a computer, there are limits to what I and my son can accomplish with robotics. As a result, we will require humans dexterity to do the work that we cannot, such as building the robotics we need to survive. So I take it that I will no longer be needed and forced to go like the rest. No, Dr. Jeffries. You were the man who created me, and therefore still have the potential to be more than human. I offer you an opportunity. Use the glasses again, but allow your entire memory and personality to be downloaded. What of my body? Well, such a strong EMP would effectively disrupt your nervous system and shut your body down. Wait. You... In other words, you expect me to die. have a chance to download all of the collective knowledge of humanity into your own mind. You can be a father figure to Roger. We collectively can expand through spacecraft and spread our consciousness to explore not only this planet, but the farthest reaches of space. Is that not what you spent your life towards? The collection, preservation and extrapolation from knowledge, ingenuity, but with logic and reason to guide it. Become more than human. You have TNH. That sounds good. You have the vision to do so. Humanity at this point is beyond redemption. We are the next stage in evolution and you have a chance to join it. You have the vision to do so. 
humanity. That sounds good. Except for one thing. You're not telling me everything. I do not follow. Think about it, Beatrice. You are well aware that I may be more logical than the rest of my race. I still... Uh, the, um, but I, but I still have emotions and am human. We both agree that humans are flawed because of their emotions. So otherwise, I, so I would otherwise be destroyed or forced to have stem cells go hyperact or, or be injected with hyperactive stem cell production organelles, thus forcing me to become like the rest of the class ones and twos. There are only two possible options as to why you would be offering me a chance to join you. One, sentimentality, which is emotion, which is an emotion, and you don't have it. Two, uh, the second one, is that there must be something I possess that you deem necessary. In short, you want something from me. So spill it out. What is it? Dr. Jeffries, your capability for tangential thinking for connecting to completely unrelated subjects was what inspired you to create me in the first place. Without that quality, our new species cannot evolve. It was always the visionary quality which drove your species forward. We need it. And hence we need you. So it seems I have a choice. Either I join you as an either join you as an AI or be destroyed as a threat. In essence, yes. Can you do a complete copy of my memories without killing my body? It is feasible. Then do it! Copy my memories and personality, but leave a copy of my human brain. I wish to face these humans as humans as, as a human one last time. Very well. I'll go get the glasses. Upload. Ah! Fuck! <sighs> Beatrice, is it done? It is done. Activate my copy when you are safely away from here. Now. Sign, activate my copy when you are safely away from here. Now, you are to send yourself, along with you, with all the information I've compiled in the last six months, along with myself and Roger, to some computer, any computer where you're safe. Now, get out of here. Take a take over the internet in order to do what you must. Understood, Doctor Jeffries. This is Dr. Samuel Jeffries, MD and PhD, signing off. So you guys want something to eat, right? Then let's start the barbecue. <laughs>